What's going, man? What's up? And welcome back to another video. In this video, we got another reaction. 20 dangerous animals that you are glad that are extinct. I'm assuming they're meaning animals like dinosaurs and things of that nature. But let's go ahead and get into this one. Welcome to a new video. Are you fascinated by animals that roamed our Earth a long time ago? Fascinated Millions by all years animals. Ago, some of the largest and most terrifying creatures we have ever known existed. Some of these animals were also extremely dangerous. From mm. the imposing T-Rex to the colossal Megalodon, today we're going to show you 20 dangerous animals that have gone extinct. Are you new to this channel? Make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. And before we start, also like the video. No, he kind of sounds like 20. he would be an The owl. Megalodon was an impressive species of shark that first appeared on Earth about 18 million years ago and went extinct about 2.6 million years ago. With a length of nearly 59 feet or 18 meters, this shark was a dominant predator and had few natural enemies. The Megalodon was closely related to the modern white shark and primarily hunted large sea creatures such as whales, dolphins, and sea turtles. Fossil teeth mm. of the Megalodon are regularly found and are easily recognizable due to their unique shape and size. Some teeth are quite large Damn. and scientists Big speculate shark. that the shark may have survived until 12,000 years ago when humans first appeared on Earth. Although scientists agree that the Megalodon is extinct, there are still some people who believe that this huge shark still exists. Numerous videos on YouTube claim to have evidence of the Megalodon, but these claims have never been scientifically proven. Yeah, I've watched all those videos on YouTube too. It is unlikely that this shark still exists, as no recent evidence has been found to support it. Furthermore, the presence of a shark of this size in the current time would certainly have been noticed. Number 19. The Platybelodon, a prehistoric Jesus. mammal closely related to today's elephants, roamed in large herds between 23 and 4 million years ago across Africa. You know what I, you know what I was just going to say? I was going to say that they look like, like an elephant where the trunk is that nigga mouth. That's crazy. He damn near got like, but he already got the buck teeth at the bottom. And then it's like he got the buck teeth at the top. It's like he got two set of buck teeth. You feel me? It's kind of crazy. Europe, Asia, and North America. And they got a trunk it was mouth. a huge herbivorous elephant mouth. known for its peculiar shovel-shaped lower teeth. Jesus, like that's that's pretty crazy. Okay. The Platybelodon lived in the marshy areas of the savannas and could reach up to 20 feet or 6 meters in length and be mm. 9 feet or 2.8 meters tall, as well mm. as weighing up to four and a half tons. It Jesus. searched for food with its trunk in nearby lakes. Scientists have observed wear patterns on the platybelodon's teeth, suggesting that the lower tusks were used to peel bark off trees. Although right. it looks like its tusks were designed for a different purpose, the platybelodon used its teeth to graze on grass, leaves, and tree bark. In well, contrast to modern elephants, which have long, cylinder-like tusks, the platybelodon had smaller and more stretched tusks, giving it a unique appearance. These impressive animals lived during the Miocene and Pylocene epoch and were an important part of the prehistoric ecosystem. Number 18. The Titanoboa is one of the most fascinating and frightening creatures to have ever have lived. This enormous extinct snake belonged to the giant snake family and lived 58 to 60 million years ago in what is now Colombia. They measured almost 43 feet, or 13 meters in length, and weighed up to 2,500 pounds, or 1,135 kilograms. Fossils of this giant snake were only discovered in 2009, in one of the Corejon coal mines in La Guajira, Colombia. Interestingly, the huge size of this animal was likely- Do y'all think um, this, this could still be alive? I ain't gonna lie, this is one of- one of the animals that if you told me was still alive today, I could probably believe that bear. Cause snakes get big as hell. I done seen some big ass snakes. And if you told me this bear was just sitting in the, the Amazon rainforest somewhere, I, I'd believe yeah, that cause that's pretty believable. ...due to the extremely hot climate of that time. The Titanoboa's diet consisted mainly of reptilian birds, giant turtles, fish, and even crocodiles. Uh, what many people everything. don't know is that scientists believe the Titanoboa may have been capable of climbing trees, something unusual for snakes. Fossil remains of a snake closely related tree. snake were found to have the ability to climb and take refuge in trees, indicating that the Titanoboa was probably also capable of climbing trees. Another interesting fact is that the scientists have discovered that the Titanoboa had a high oxygen demand. 
This is because the snake's gigantic size required a tremendous amount of muscle power to move. To operate those muscles, the titanoboa needed a lot of oxygen, so the animal probably lived near aquatic areas where humidity was high and there was more oxygen. See, Number like 17. a rainforest or The saber-toothed tiger, also known as Smilodon, is one of the most iconic predators from prehistoric times. However, it was not a true tiger, but a distinct species that went extinct between 2.5 million and 12,000 years ago. The Smilodon mm. was a large feline that lived in North and South America, standing about 7 feet or 2.2 meters tall, weighing between 350 and 615 pounds, or 160 to 280 kilograms. And it had huge teeth that could grow up to 12 inches or 30 centimeters long. It Damn. was an incredibly powerful hunter like the could surprise and attack its prey with deadly precision. Interestingly, the Smilodon may have hunted in groups, unlike many other large cats that hunt alone. This cooperative method may have contributed to the fearsome reputation of the Smilodon. Additionally, it ate a variety of prey, including mastodons, extinct elephants, deer, horses, and bison. What many people don't know is that the Smilodon's fangs were actually more fragile than those of modern cats. This was because the fangs were very long and thin, making them easier to break during the hunt. Despite this fragility, the Smilodon's fangs were still deadly, and it's one of the most feared predators of its time. Definitely. Number 16. Imagine standing on the coast of Peru mm, 12 to 13 million years ago and seeing a shadow moving beneath the waves. It would have been the Liviatin, the largest oh, prehistoric whale ever to have Liviatin. lived. The colossal animal shared the water with another giant predator, the terrifying megalodon shark. The Liviatin weighed about 110,000 pounds, or 50,000 kilograms, and was up to 56 feet, or 17 Damn. meters long. In 2008, fossils of this prehistoric animal were discovered by a Dutch researcher from the Natural History Museum in Rotterdam. It's believed that the Liviatin had strong jaw muscles that allowed it to hunt whales of 23 to 33 feet, or hmm. 7 to 10 meters. This mighty animal hunted a variety of species, and no animal was safe from this ruler of the ocean. Although the Liviatin is now extinct, its closest living relative is the sperm whale. Number 15. The Spinosaurus was a striking dinosaur that lived during the late Cretaceous period, approximately 112 to 93.5 million years ago. The dinosaur had a long, narrow skull that resembles that of a modern crocodile, and it had a distinctive sail on its back that likely helped regulate its body temperature. The Spinosaurus was capable of hunting both on land and in water, and scientists have recently discovered that it was also a good swimmer and able to hold its breath for long periods of time. I feel like that information was useless because if you just told me that he hunts on land and water, isn't it safe to assume that he's a good swimmer and can hold his fucking breath if he gonna hunt underwater? I feel like that was well, it's believed stupid. that the Spinosaurus primarily yeah. ate fish. There's ongoing debate about whether it also hunted smaller animals on land. Interestingly, many of the original fossils of the Spinosaurus were destroyed during World War II, leaving scientists with very limited material to study. It was only in recent years that new specimens were found, allowing scientists to gain better insight into this incredible creature. An interesting fact is that some scientists suggest that it was the largest meat-eating dinosaur that ever lived, measuring approximately 50 to 60 feet, or 50- Man, evolution, ev evolution is so crazy to me, and like, I don't know, that bitch just don't make sense, cause it's like, okay, these animals, let's say they were land animals, right? What, like, one of them one day was just like, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and start swimming. And then, like, some more of them follow, and then all of a sudden, now they're aquatic animals. Like, how does that work? Because, like, I like, like, people, I know dumb people who can swim really good, but we're not aquatic, like, animals, you know? We, we don't, we don't evolve. We're not evolving to be more aquatic. What's the, what's the, how, how do we do stuff like this as, as a, as people? 15 to 18 meters in length and weighing up to 20 tons. This means that the Spinosaurus was likely larger than the famous T-Rex. Mm. Number 14. The Tyrannosaurus Rex, also known as the king of the dinosaurs, continues to fascinate people from all over the world to this day. But what hey, makes this prehistoric creature so special? Firstly, the T-Rex is one of the largest meeting. No, 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 no. <laughs> 
Firstly, right. the T-Rex is one of the largest meat-eating dinosaurs that ever lived, with fossils found in what is now Western North America. But there's more. The T-Rex had strong and high hind legs that allowed it to move remarkably quickly. Its forelimbs were actually quite powerful, despite their small size, and could grip prey while it delivered its deadly bite. Moreover, the T-Rex had an excellent hearing and vision, and its bite force was unparalleled. In fact, mm. scientists estimate that the T-Rex had the strongest bite force of any land animal that ever lived. The T-Rex was not only one of the deadliest, but also one of the last dinosaurs to roam the Earth before they all went extinct. With dozens of recent discoveries of T-Rex skeletons, scientists have learned even more about this fascinating creature and are able to reconnect what it looked like and how it behaved. Something yeah, interesting like that. that not many people know about the T-Rex is that some scientists think it had a feathered coat. This feathered coat may have provided protection against parasites and diseases. While there's no oh, direct man, evidence of feathers on T-Rex fossils, chickens. feathers have been found on other thorough- Hey, did y'all did y'all know that T-Rexes are closely related to chickens and stuff? So that damn near means that T-Rexes were just big chickens. Big, big reptilish chickens, right? So that's damn near a dragon, right? Like damn near. I think I think we can all agree that's damn near a dragon, if you think about it. I don't know. I'm just saying. Theropod dinosaurs closely related to the T-Rex. However, much more research is needed to find a definite answer. If the T-Rex did indeed have feathers, it would drastically change our view of this prehistoric animal and its place in the evolution of birds. Additionally, scientists have discovered that the T-Rex shared some physical characteristics with birds, such as hollow bones and agility comparable to that of a modern bird. Come on now. Number That's a 13. big bird, basically the a dragon. The Mosasaurus was one of the largest and last extinct carnivorous reptiles. The creature exclusively lived in the water about 66 million years ago. The name Mosasaurus is derived from the river Moss in the Netherlands, where the first fossils were discovered. The Mosasaurus was a formidable hunter and preyed on fish, large sea turtles, smaller Mosasaurus, and even birds. It had an impressive jaw that could open wide enough to consume almost anything it wanted. What many people don't know is that the Mosasaurus also played an important role in history of paleontology. In 1794, fossils of the Mosasaurus were discovered in St. Peter's Mountain in Maastricht. These fossils were the first remains of an animal that did not belong to the contemporary fauna. The discovery of the Mosasaurus was, therefore, a crucial step in understanding the evolution of life on Earth. Additionally, the Mosasaurus was reportedly the inspiration for the mythical sea monsters that appear in many stories. In the 18th century, it was not yet known that these were extinct animals. Therefore, it was believed that monsters had lived in the seas in the past, and the Mosasaurus was seen as evidence of that. Number 12. Definitely the forest sessidae, also known as the terror birds, were a family of extinct, flightless birds that roamed South America and Antarctica about 70 million years ago. These birds ranged in size from 2.4 inches to 6 centimeters to 9.8 feet or 3 meters. These birds ranged in size from 2.4 inches or 6 centimeters to 9.8 feet or 3 meters and okay. were known for their terrifying so appearance. Jump. Unlike other birds, the terror birds did not have wings, but had strong legs that allowed the larger species to reach speeds of up to 31 miles per hour, or so 50 ostrich. kilometers an hour. They were carnivores and used their powerful legs, which scientists believed were adapted to kick prey, to catch both smaller animals and larger predators. Although the exact cause of their extinction remains unknown, it's speculated that they disappeared about 2 million years ago, shortly after the arrival of humans. An interesting fact that many people do not oh, know about the terror birds is that they have discovered that terror birds with long and slender beaks probably ate insects and small animals, while those with short and powerful beaks likely hunted larger prey, such as other birds and mammals. This insight has contributed to a better understanding of how terror birds fed and thrived in their prehistoric environment. Number 11. The Megatherium was a colossal sloth that once roamed the lands of South America and was as large as an elephant, measuring up to 20 feet or 6 meters in length and weighing about 4 tons. 
Despite its size, the giant sloth mainly fed on plants and used its powerful like claws bear. to pull branches off trees. A grizzly bear. But what's even more intriguing is that scientists are currently debating whether the megatherium could move on two legs and be carnivorous, adding a new layer of mystery. Although it became extinct between 5 million and 10,000 years ago, the immense size and possible bipedal movement make the megatherium one of the most fascinating prehistoric creatures that ever existed. Number 10. Sharks have always been intimidating mm. creatures, but they pale in comparison to the Helicoprion, which swam in the oceans of Earth 280 shark. million years ago. This species managed to survive the Permian Triceric mass extinction, a catastrophic event that wiped out 95% of all marine life. Unfortunately, mm. Helicoprion eventually went extinct. What made this shark-like creature so terrifying was its lower jaw, which resembled a circular saw. Experts believe that Helicoprion could grow up to 40 feet, or 12 meters long, almost twice the size of a modern white shark. Meeting this creature while diving in the ocean would have been a nightmare. It was also cunning and often hidden schools of fish before ambushing its prey with its frightening jaws. Number 9. Carbon Emmys was a prehistoric creature known for Big its gigantic turtle. size and impressive hunting abilities. This extinct species of turtle roamed the Earth about 60 to 58 million years ago, in what is now northwestern Colombia. The discovery of this turtle species in a coal mine in Corejon in 2005 provided valuable insights to the remarkable features of Carbon Emmys. The animal's shell was an astonishing 5.5 feet, or 1.7 meters long, making it one of the largest turtles to ever have existed. It's hard to imagine animals of such immense size walking the Earth so long ago. But Carbon Emmys was indeed a powerful carnivorous reptile, with massive jaws strong enough to kill crocodile-like creatures. The mm. name of the genus comes from the Latin word carbo, which means coal, as a reference to the mine where the first species was found. Interestingly, Carbon Emmys were not the only giant reptile that existed at the same time and place. It shared its environment with the colossal Titanoboa. The idea of these two enormous predators living in the same environment is quite terrifying, don't you think? Number 8. Yakelopterus was a giant sea scorpion and not something you would want to encounter while diving into the sea. About 390 Jesus. million years ago, it That's had crazy. strong defense mechanisms, including spikes, claws, and armor to protect itself from predators. Fortunately, this species has been extinct for a long time. Based on a found claw of 18 inches, or 46 centimeters, scientists well, estimate that, that the bad. scorpion could reach a length of 8.5 feet, or 2.6 meters, Man, making it the big. largest anthropod ever discovered. With compound eyes that suggest high visual acuity, the species was an active and powerful top predator of its time. Some theories even suggest that they might have enjoyed human flesh. Despite this terrifying possibility, the sea scorpion mainly fed on fish, which it grasped with its sharp claws and teeth. It's believed that these sea scorpions evolved from smaller marine organisms and was able to reach such an enormous size due to a lack of competition from other fish and vertebrates. Number 7. The Quetzalcoatlus is a pterosaur that ruled the skies with its enormous size, making it the largest flying creature to ever have lived on Earth. This winged creature lived about 72 Damn. to 66 million years ago in North America during the late Cretaceous period. With a height of 36 feet or 11 meters, it would have easily surpassed many modern buildings. Despite its enormous size, the Quetzalcoatlus could take off and fly with just one powerful stroke of its wings, thanks to its heavily muscled body. Scientists estimate that this incredible creature could fly for days, high above the Earth's surface, That's with a weight cool. of about 440 to 550 pounds, or 200 to 250 kilograms. While it's easy to imagine the Quetzalcoatlus soaring through the air, it's also believed to have walked on the ground like a stork, using its beak to scoop up prey from nearby lakes or rivers. With its sharp beak, this pterosaur likely caught fish and small animals, making it a formidable predator. Like the dinosaurs, the Quetzalcoatlus was wiped out by the massive meteorite impact that occurred about 66 million years ago. Speaking of this, I saw um, a theory today. I forgot where I saw that, but I saw a theory today that said, um, what if the asteroid that hit the Earth and killed all the, the dinosaurs and all that stuff is just humans? And it wasn't like an asteroid. They showed up in a spaceship, and the reason all the dinosaurs went extinct is because they wiped them all out. 
And the reason that we keep finding old technology from way back when the dinosaurs existed was because it's lost technologies from like our ancient human ancestors who came to this planet and wiped out the dinosaurs. That would be pretty crazy, wouldn't it? Number six. Once roaming in the dense forests of Asia, there was a creature that would surpass even in today's largest gorillas and orangutans. This was the Gigantopithecus, the largest primate species to ever have lived on our Earth. From 100,000 to 9 million team. years ago, this mighty beast lived in the lush jungles of Vietnam, India, China, and Indonesia, and fed on seeds, fruits, and bamboo leaves. With an estimated length of up to 10 feet, or 3 meters, and a weight of 1,100 pounds, or 500 kilograms, the Gigantopithecus was an absolute giant of the animal kingdom. Some have compared its lifestyle to that of modern gorillas, while others believe it resembled more of an orangutan. Despite its impressive size, this colossal creature was relatively gentle in nature, but yeah, extremely protective dumb, when threatened. However, some people speculate that Bigfoot could be a surviving population of the Gigantopithecus. What do valid. you think? Let me know in the comments. Pretty valid. Number 5. The Dunkleosteus was not an ordinary fish, it was a true terror of the prehistoric seas. Jesus. Its armored head and powerful jaws make it clear that this was not an animal to mess with. This enormous predatory fish lived about 360 to 380 million years ago, and was a fierce hunter of other fish, sharks, and even its own kind. Its jaws were capable of producing a bite force of almost 11,000 pounds, or 5,000 kilograms, making it one of the most powerful biters in history. In addition to its strength, the Dunkleosteus was also incredibly fast and could open its mouth in just 1 15th of a second, allowing it to suck in its prey at lightning speed. This enormous fish weighed up to 4 tons and had unique tooth plates that extended from its jaws and could cut through meat and bones. Fortunately, modern swimmers no longer have to worry about encountering this monster from the depths. Number 4. Centipedes can come in all shapes and sizes, and some can be quite creepy. But if you think centipedes are already scary, imagine living in a time when Arthopleura roamed the Earth. This gigantic centipede lived 345 to 295 million fly, years ago in what is now North America and Scotland. It could grow up to 10 feet or 3 meters long. Damn. In fact, Arthropleura is the largest invertebrate that ever existed, partly due to the higher oxygen levels in the atmosphere at the time. Despite its enormous size, scientists believe that it was a plant eater that moved quickly across the forest floor. Another interesting fact is that it made a unique way of defending itself against predators. Fossil evidence suggests it had glandular pores along its body that could secrete a toxic substance to deter potential attackers. Mm. Additionally, this giant centipede is thought to have been able to roll up into a ball for protection, similar to how modern pill bugs and armadillos can do. Mm. Number 3. Meganeura, a prehistoric insect resembling a dragonfly, lived approximately 300 million years ago and was the largest flying insect to ever have existed. It had an astonishing size of 28 inches or 70 centimeters. Unlike modern dragonflies, which reach a size of 3 to 5 inches or 8 to 12 centimeters, Meganeura had a wingspan of 2 feet. Meganeura had a wingspan Damn. of over 2 feet, or 60 centimeters. Yeah, you just said that, Fossils but... of the insect were discovered in 1880 and 1979 and are currently on display at the National Museum of Natural History in Paris, France. Meganeura was a predator that mainly fed on small amphibians, lizards, and other insects. The secret behind their enormous size was the abundance of oxygen in the atmosphere during the time. Today, there are no living insects that come close to their size, but it's fascinating to think that there may have been even larger flying insects in the past yet to be discovered. Number 2. Camarokaras were one of the most remarkable creatures to ever inhabit our planet's oceans. This giant cephalopod lived during the Paleozoic era, between 74 and 440 million years ago. With its cone-shaped shell and numerous tentacles, it was a powerful and imposing predator. The animal moved slowly over the seabed, patiently waiting for its prey. Once it saw its opportunity, it used its tentacles to grab its prey and then crush it with its strong jaws. What makes them so fascinating are their enormous size. 
the animal could grow up to 36 feet or 11 meters long, making it one of the largest cephalopods ever. This is even more impressive when we consider that it lived in a time when the ocean was still evolving, and most marine animals were considerably smaller than they are today. The species was also an important link in the evolution of cephalopods, and its fossils are invaluable to scientists trying to understand how life on our planet has evolved over time. Number 1. Dinosuchus, also known as the Terrible Crocodile, Big was a genus of enormous crocodiles that roamed the Earth down. more than 73 to 82 million years ago. These reptiles were truly terrifying, growing up to 39 feet, or 12 Damn. meters in length, two to three times the size of a modern saltwater crocodile. Their powerful jaws and enormous bite force allowed them to kill even the largest of prey, including sea turtles and dinosaurs. Interestingly, their closest relative, Sarcosuchus, lived about 32 million years earlier and was roughly the same size. However, the Dinosuchus had a more rigid build, making it even more formidable against predators. The first fossils of the species were found in 1940, and a reconstruction can now be seen at the American Museum of Natural History in New York. Which of these animals would you like to see back to life? All right, man. I hope that y'all enjoyed this one. If y'all did, leave a like, comment, subscribe, share, share, turn the post notification bells on, and peace, love, and positivity. And I will catch y'all in the next one, man. It's two options in this world: is you gonna win or lose? Is you gonna take the risk or not? You know you gotta choose. Yeah, I can't keep one, so all my bitches come in twos.